Hey guys, Damien here from Gizby.com and ChinaPhoneArena.com. What we have for hands-on today is a Chewy HI10. It's a relatively new tablet. Let's take a look at the physical aspects of it. You can see here we have a USB 3. See that blue there? There are a couple of different HI10s, even though it's the same model number. There have been a several different revisions of this tablet since it came out. You can also see we've got a standard USB 2, we've got, got a micro USB, and also we have an SD slot here. Here we have a headphone jack, and also we get the, the power here, volume here. And this is one thing that I noticed for right off about this tablet, is that the speakers are at the bottom. So if you're using the tablet like this, I guess it's all right, but usually you're gonna be listening to media, watching movies, etc., like this. So that's a bit annoying. I would have preferred the speakers up top or at the bottom here, um, but it's not a deal breaker by any means. I'm gonna hold that for a second. Let's see how quick it takes to turn on. You see this red light already started here. It's already started to boot up. See how long that takes. I don't know, what are we at, five seconds now? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and Bam, we're right in there. So I know that's about, what, 15 seconds or so, I would say. Not much more than that. I'm gonna go ahead and log in here. Get the pin set up. You're gonna see the one thing that I noticed about this tablet, it's really quick. I'm gonna show you guys in a second here. I got Photoshop. Let's go through a couple things here. You can see here when you turn the tablet, this is it everything that you actually you don't want to get that permission sure why not when you turn the tablet you can see it changes really easily here really quick no sort of hesitation bam it's right there you can also lock that it's not a problem you just pull the uh, charms bar over here and then right around here rotation lock so you can keep that locked in a certain position we're going to go ahead and turn it landscape style here or log in into skype there i got already now let's take a look here what we see at how much is left on the drive. You can see what I have installed here. I've got Google Chrome, uh, a small installation of Photoshop on there, Google Docs, uh, battery monitor, FileZia, Windurstat, uh, Skype, Recover, Picasa, Paint.net, GreenShot, WinRare. I've already got quite a few apps on there. This is kind of my base apps for me to uh, get started with a computer. It's got 42 gigabytes out of 57 point gig gigabytes free. So it's a healthy amount of space there. Let me uh, dial down the ISO a bit here. Get a bit dimmer there so you guys can pop. Probably a little too bright. Okay. And uh, so yeah, it's got a 42 gigabytes here free out of 57. That's Windows and all these things already installed on there. The OS is Windows 10 Home, I believe. It's a Windows 10 Home, and it's a 64-bit process, 64-bit version of Windows 10. Let's go ahead and open some things up here. Let's just open Chrome, see how long that takes to open. Bam, it's immediate. So you saw I just booted up. This wasn't uh, sitting in memory or anything like that. It was uh, just immediately come up. Let's go to a website here, and China Phone Arena, how about that? See how long that takes to load there. You can see it renders fairly quickly. It's already bam up there. It's loading everything fresh there. And you can see that scrolling is smooth. I did make some adjustments to the scrolling on this. When I first got it, it was uh, you would flick. See how I'm flicking there? And it's actually scrolling along. Pretty cool. But when I first got it, you'd be like this. And we'd be like, eh, eh. Let's go ahead and open an app here. Let's go with uh, Edge, Microsoft Edge. You see how quick that opens. Bam, it's right there. You guys saw I just booted up and it's just sitting right there ready to go. And we're now on the Ch China Phone Arena Facebook page. Let's go to the China Phone Arena website. See how long that takes to render. I have visited this already with this browser. So a lot of the uh, images have already loaded and stuff. You can see it's really quick. Everything's really speedy. There's no sort of waiting around or stuttering. It's going really well. It's a 1080p display, by the way. Uh, let's take a look how long Photoshop takes to open. Go ahead and open that up. This is a fresh open of it. Uh, that's the, sorry, that's the installer. Go to this PC. Photoshop. Open that up, see how long it takes.
I guess that's about 25 seconds or so, maybe a little less. And then once it's in memory, it should open up a lot quicker. Let's see if that holds true. This has a four gigabytes of RAM. The processor on this is the Intel Z8300 64-bit, four core. Clocked at 1.44 gigahertz. See how much quicker it loads there? It's already been loaded into memory. It's kind of sitting there waiting to go. But from the first boot, bam, that was under 10 seconds. But the first, first loading of Photoshop there took about probably 25 seconds. So you can see that we can run high-end applications on this tablet no problem at all. As so I was saying, it's a Z8300, 64-bit, 4-core, clock at 1.44, turbo up to 1.84. It's got 4 gigabytes of RAM, a 64 gigabyte storage. And that's about it for now, guys. I just want to turn this on show to you real quick. I've just used it for a couple hours. We're going to have a full review, so subscribe to catch it. Damien, over and out.